Rose, goldens, grannies, delicious, wine sap, northern spies, Baldwins, Pippins, Jonathans, and the fabled Dead Seas variety, which legend has it dissolves into ashes and smoke in your hands. For love of a lowly apple, Adam lost paradise, by all accounts a sort of perfect landlocked Hawaii, run not by Jack Lord, but the Lord, taking with him only the knowledge of good and evil, which clung to his unhappy children like a permanent dad went to paradise and all I got was this lousy t-shirt souvenir. You'd like to dismiss me as a staggering drunk. But it's true. I have seen good and evil in the smoky depths of a bottle of scotch. But tonight, it's the amber juice of the apple that guides me. A near relative, don't you think? Almost twins. Your health, Dad. Mm -hmm. What's the difference, whether you're drunk, out of your mind, or just plain vicious? I don't think this is all going as well as it could have, Mason. True. We haven't heard the verdict yet. Oh. And the jury has heard the testimony of both witnesses. Two wives, two mothers, each acknowledging guilt to a degree, each claiming innocence to a far greater one. I am not going to judge your beauty contest, Mason. No, it's a duty contest. No swimsuits here, just aprons and evening gowns. No, they are not here yet. How long ago did you send them? Where is the cake? There's supposed to be a cake. The hell with cake. What about the dinner? Mason, do you want to tell me what she's talking about? We are here to celebrate Mason's fifth birthday, the one I missed when you sent me away. And don't look at me like you don't know what I'm talking about. It's just an idea. I have so much to make up for, to Mason, to all of you. And after he blew out the candles and made his wish, then I was going to tell Cece, well, I had a lot of things to say, some apologies, <laughs> things. And I was going to tell Cece that, in spite of everything, I still loved him. Cut off her tentacles and she grows new ones. Oh, well, in the right way, of course. The only way an ex-wife can. And then I would prove it to him by telling him about Cassandra. You don't know me. What about her, Mother? Well, you know. Pay no attention to her, Cassie. She's on one of her lunar flights. <laughs> you can all go to hell if you're not there already. See? See that? I mean, she's really lovely, no doubt. But, as you always say, you can't trust a Lockridge. You can't trust a Lockridge. You can't trust a Lockridge. 